Well, I think there's been a strong theme today at the conference about the need for infrastructure to ensure that Britain is fit to compete. And I think that is the key, whether it be investments in sectors like ours in telecommunications, whether it be in road and rail and, and uh, air transport. You know, it is a war out there. It's a highly competitive uh, environment, both in the UK and across Europe and wider. And we need to make sure that we set our businesses up to succeed. And to do that, you need to have infrastructure you can rely on. Well, I'm someone who's actually lived and worked on four different continents, so I think being able to develop the skills to drive business in those emerging markets is hugely important. Obviously, in my current role, we are exporting many, many people all over the globe uh, to enjoy vacation, adventure, holiday experiences, and many of our primary markets are actually in Europe, so Spain and Greece and Turkey, very, very important markets, and so we are major exporters of people uh, to have amazing experiences in those environments. So it's hugely important that uh, the ability to do that, the construct to do that, is well fostered. We have been in long training for industry in the UK for very, very many years, and now it's time to deliver. Uh, and I think uh, comparing that to the Olympics, where you really saw the passion and the spirit among the, the athletes, it's very much about the same for the UK economy and the UK industry as well. I think there are great examples here in the UK where we have successful manufacturing. We need to just make sure we unbundle all that potential. Might it be education or innovations and even making sure that the businesses are more competitive on an overseas market. That's why I think the UK has a great, great chance to, to conquer the, 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 the world and make sure we have a good contribution to, to the global GDP as well.